<laughs> Just Ken and Bio? Yeah. Just edgy like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amarita and I'm a third year Chem Bio Engineering student at UQ and I'm joined with Professor Justin Cooper-White who is a Bioengineering Professor and Head of the School of Chemical Engineering and we're here to answer a couple of your questions today. So I think I've got the first question, what is Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering? Okay, well I guess at the heart of it, Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering um, aims to apply the fundamentals uh, that we know in the chemical and biological sciences and uh, translate them into actual tangible products for the betterment of our society. And we do that by uh, taking what we know about the chemical processes in our biological system, so cells or parts of cells, um, and using that information to actually create uh, equipment, methods and processes um, to produce uh, environmentally sustainable um, uh, products at scale. Um, so for example, we might uh, we engineer the genome of a particular cell type, that could be bacteria, it could be algae, it could be a mammalian cell. Um, we engineer them so that they like to feed on waste products. So that could be wastewater, it could be food waste. Um, we design bioreactors um, which then allow us to culture those cells at scale. Um, and also downstream processes which allow us to filter and purify the products. Um, and some of those products, for example, are biofuels, uh, bioplastics that are used in consumer products and medical devices, a whole range of, of bio-derived products. Who should study chemical and bioprocess engineering? Chemical and bioprocess engineering sits at the intersection of engineering, chemistry and biology. So um, basically I would say that a person uh, who's creative, who's really um, passionate about making a difference to our society, um, a person who loves maths, biology, chemistry, um, and who's really into making something of that. So transforming that fundamental knowledge um, into an endpoint product that's actually going to make a difference. So why did you study chem and bioengineering? Well, in high school, I was very much an analytical thinker, I would say, and I always was very maths and science orientated. But at the same time, I also had a really big passion and interest for the health industry, and that's kind of an area I always envisioned myself heading into. So it was actually um, friends and family suggestion that I look into engineering. So I did some research and found out that UQ offered chem and bio as an engineering major. And as soon as I read about it, I knew it was the obvious choice for me because it encompassed all my interests and I get to learn how to use engineering principles to solve those medical and biological issues. You mentioned the University of Queensland. Why did you choose UQ above anywhere else? Yeah, well, growing up in Brisbane, once I kind of knew engineering was the path that I was set on, I attended a lot of the future student um, information sessions and I was just really, I guess, inspired by how um, passionate all the students were about engineering and particularly I spoke to the women in engineering students in that program and they just highlighted to me how diverse and inclusive the engineering environment at UQ was which is a big appeal to me and on a more professional side I guess UQ has so many industry links that span globally so I knew it was going to be the best place to give me the most opportunities to set me up for my career beyond my university life. What career opportunities are there for chemical and bioprocess engineers? So chemical and bioprocess engineers, um, because they sit at the interface of engineering and obviously the, the bio or life sciences, have a huge range of opportunity available to them. So not only will they be able to actually gain careers in sort of standard, more chemical engineering based um, industries, they'll also be able to now touch into the rapidly developing uh, bio-focused industry sectors. And so they include uh, areas like uh, biopharmaceuticals and uh, biotherapeutics, um, new generation food and food processing, um, obviously uh, vaccines, new defined ways in which to make fine chemicals, so intermediates for other products, um, cells, uh, expansion for cell therapies, um, a, a really exciting new way in which we you know, may actually repair ourselves in the future, um, as well as a whole host of other bio-related industries that are rapidly uh, developing across the world. All right, I guess it's my turn to ask you a question. So, um, what's your favourite place on campus? 
Well, you definitely spend a lot of time indoors in buildings at university, whether it's going to lectures or shoots or practicals. So I personally just like to get outside whenever I can. So my favourite place on campus is probably Lakeside Cafe because it's right next to the lake, immersed within the wildlife and beautiful scenery. And it's a perfect place to either just catch up for, with friends for a bite to eat, or sometimes we'll even study there as well, just because it's such a nice um, change of pace from being inside the classroom environment. So I find that's really productive. Yeah, I agree, it's a lovely place. Yeah. My question now, does the university have any industry connections? Oh, certainly. Um, <clears throat> in this area of chemical and bioprocess engineering, um, we have a substantial number of industry partners um, as well as potential industry pathways for our students. So for example, we have existing relationships with companies like Dow, PepsiCo, BP, Thermo Fisher, uh, cell therapy companies like Mesoblast. Um, these are all medium to large multinational companies that regularly interact um, with us uh, within the school. Um, but we also interact and support and have even had our students go and work for startup companies that have actually come out of UQ based on uh, UQ intellectual property. Um, and that's, for example, a couple of companies, Tenacitech, um, as well as uh, Scaled Biolabs. Um, so there's a, a whole range of different levels of opportunities for interacting um, with industry. So next question, what advice do you have to high school students interested in studying this area? So as chemical and bioprocess engineers, um, we're really focused on uh, engineering biology for a better world. So moreover, I'd ask uh, a question um, or a couple of questions of those students. And it would be, um, are you interested, I guess, in making a difference um, in this world? Uh, are you interested in addressing those emerging very complex problems that we will have to overcome in the future in terms of our energy needs, our food needs, our waste, you know, the way in which we deal with wastes? Um, do you see yourself working in new forms of energy um, or uh, I guess a whole range of, of products that um, in the future we don't even know what we need yet but with this um, in hand you'll be able to apply what we learn obviously in chemical and bioprocess engineering to a whole host of those new challenges that will come across. My question, what do you love about your degree? Well, uh, I love that with engineering I can use the analytical side of my brain on a daily basis, but at the same time there's a real, I guess, collaborative and creative component which really complements the theoretical side I'd say. And I don't think a lot of people necessarily think or associate engineers with being creative always, but engineering is all about problem solving and thinking outside the box and coming up with those innovative and different solutions to things, so those creative skills are really essential and I think it's so rare to find a degree that encompasses so many different ways of thinking and skill sets. It makes each day really different and exciting, I'd say. Final question, what does the future of this industry look like? So chemical and bioprocess engineering feeds into uh, the global industrial um, biotechnology sector. That's a sector that currently um, uh, produces a hundred billion dollars um, from that particular market. That's a very broad market. It has a growth rate projected at 10% per annum. That's a huge market, rapid growth rate. I would say that the future for the chemical and bioprocess engineering uh, and the possibility of graduates like yourself actually making a difference um, in the world has never been brighter. So I think it's a truly exciting future to look forward to.